Hi, my name is Dyslexi, and in this video I'll be giving a talk through of the Arma 3 Alpha's movement and shooting mechanics. Please keep in mind that this is based on the initial alpha release of the game, and things will change as we get closer to the final version. Also, note that this video has a companion piece on my site, which talks about some tweaks you can make to your Arma 3 controls. I'd recommend reading it. You can find the page linked here, or through the video description. Anyhow, let's get into the meat of this. Once you're in-game, take a moment to move your viewer around. Move it slow, move it fast. If you're an armor veteran, you'll appreciate the fact that slow and fast movements are proportional. There's no negative mouse acceleration happening anymore when you try to make a fast turn. This is a godsend and brings armor's mouse controls into the modern age where they belong. Next, we'll talk a bit about movement speeds and how all that works, and then we'll move on to stances and stance adjustment. There are three basic and one special movement speed. The basic speeds are walk, run, and sprint. They look like this. This is walking, both weapon up and weapon down. Here's running, and here's sprinting. The special mode, the tactical pace. Tactical pace allows you to move at a faster than walk pace while still keeping your weapon up. This is very good for environments where you're likely to be fighting at close ranges. Walking is not fatiguing, while tactile pace and jockeying are, and sprinting can only be done for a relatively short distance before you become too fatigued to continue at that speed, at which point you'll automatically adopt a jockeying pace. Save sprinting for when you desperately need it, such as to rush across a fire-swept lane or react to unexpected enemy contact. Next we have the stances. There are three basic stances and a variety of stance adjust poses. The basic stances are standing, kneeling, and prone. Each of these allows you to move at either a normal, slow, or sprint pace. Walking and crouch have a tackle pace variant as well. This is slow prone, here's normal, and this is fast. This is slow crouched, this is tactical, this is normal, and this is fast crouched. Here's slow standing, this is tactical, here's normal, and this is fast or sprinting. The problem with having only three stances, as in prior games in the series, is that the world is far more complex than what it offers you regarding cover, concealment, and positions from which you can engage the enemy or be engaged. There are many times in Arma 2 or prior games where you'd find yourself behind good cover but you couldn't engage the enemy without standing fully up, which would generally result in you being shot. To solve this, Bohemia introduced the Stance Adjust system. Each stance has two substates, and they can all be smoothly cycled through. Here's standing. I can't see over this obstacle, but I'd really like to. Thanks to Stance Adjust, all I need to do is hold my Stance Adjust key, and press my Move Forward key, W. This places me into what you'd call high standing. If I hold Stance Adjust and press S, I'll go back to normal standing. If I press it again, it's low standing. I can press down again, and I'll end up in high crouch, then normal crouch, then low crouch, high prone, normal prone, and low prone. I can always press my F and V keys to move between the major states, but note that for standing and crouch, it'll move you into the appropriate sub-state for that stance. What I mean by that is that if you're in low standing and you press your up key to toggle crouch, you'll end up in a low crouch. This is pretty sensible. If you had a situation where you needed to keep your head down, it's probably wise to keep your head down when you move to a different stance as well. The only exception to this is prone. Once you go prone, you reset your stance adjust, and standing up or going to crouch will put you in the default stance again. Also, note that the two special prone stances are not mobile ones. Only normal prone allows you to move. You can also lean and roll in Arma. This is what your Q and E keys do. They lean while you're crouched or standing, and roll when you're prone. Stance adjust allows you to do what I'd call a step lean as well, and it can be combined with a normal lean. To do a step lean, be standing or crouched, hold your stance adjust key, and press A or D. This will be held until you cancel it either by doing a stance adjust in the opposite direction, or doing an up or down stance adjust. Note that making a normal stance change, such as from standing to crouched, won't cancel it. This allows you to go from step lean left crouched to step lean left standing, 
without having to dance on the keys in the process. Now on to shooting. There are two basic methods by which you can shoot an arma, either sighted or unsighted. Please note there is no such thing as hip fire in this game. Whether or not you're sighted, your weapon is always shouldered. Anyhow, let's talk about unsighted mode first. You'll notice that the Arma 3 crosshair is a, a bit different from Arma 2. There is no more magical center pipper to show exactly where your rounds will land. The crosshair is also divided into four parts and has a reasonably large gap between the portions of it. It expands and contracts to represent your stability based on your movement speed and stance. Watch as I move and shoot while unsighted. You can see that my bullets are going into an area roughly represented by the crosshair expansion. This isn't flawless accuracy, it's just a rough idea. This is akin to shooting with both eyes open in the real world and looking past your sights versus through them. That's not an exact parallel, but it's close enough for the sake of making the distinction. You can move and shoot in unsighted mode either at a walking pace by holding shift or with a tactile pace. Tactile pace allows you to deliver fire while moving faster than a walk. This is great for advancing while keeping someone suppressed. It's much nicer than jogging forward with your weapon down, hoping you won't get surprised in the process. Also note that the crosshair mode will not show the influence of fatigue or wounds on where your weapon is aiming. The more wounded or fatigued you are, the more your aim will drift, and the more important it will be to use the next mode, which is sights. You toggle your sights via your optics key. This is pretty self-explanatory. You can more easily visualize where the round will go, based on where you see the red dot or the iron sights or the reticle or whatever you see pointing at any given instant. This is how you deliver the most accurate fire. Unlike unsighted mode, you'll be able to see exactly how stamina and wounds are influencing your aim. Let's talk a bit more about moving and shooting. A major new addition is the fact that you can move more quickly while keeping your weapon up. In prior games, you were always artificially limited. You could either move slowly with your weapon up or quickly without. Reality isn't that black and white and the Arma 3 reflects this. The tactical pace allows you to move quickly with your weapon up, either sighted or unsighted. If sighted, your sights will bounce around and you can't be very accurate on the move, but it does permit suppression and closer range shooting. If you want to be more accurate while moving, simply hold your walk key and you'll move at a slower and more stable pace. Note that this sighted movement speed happens automatically. If you're jogging and you go to sights, you'll automatically move at tactical pace, unless you hold your walk key. This helps greatly to streamline the controls for shooting and moving, and makes transitions between movement and sighted mode much less jarring. Tactical pace is great for assaulting, while walking is when you're looking for more deliberate and precise movements. The fact that both of these modes are possible in Arma 3 is a major step forward in combat realism. Oh, and let's talk briefly about zoom in Arma. Holding right mouse will zoom your field of view. This helps to represent the visual acuity you have in reality. Don't think of it as a zoom. Instead, think of your normal perspective as being zoomed out, as that's effectively what's happening, and the zooming in is just restoring your natural clarity of vision. The Arma 3 zoom has been sped up to a very responsive level, making it much more usable in general. You can see that it takes about a quarter of a second to zoom in, compared to Arma 2, which took an agonizing full second to do so. Now let's, uh, let's shoot something. First, be aware that there is a perspective offset between sighted and unsighted modes. Your view will move a few inches to the right when you go into sighted mode as your head aligns to the weapon sights. You can see that demonstrated here. It's good to know this so you can expose as little of your body as possible to enemy fire. The stability of your stance will influence the amount of weapon sway you get. Standing is inherently unstable and it's a poor position to shoot from. Try to get lower whenever possible. Not only does it make you a smaller target, it makes you more precise. Note that if you need to be more precise than a given state permits you, you can utilize the hold breath feature. I bind this to X. Holding your breath will give you a few seconds more of stable aiming. If you hold it too long, however, you'll be penalized by significantly increased sway once you've effectively run out of air, like you see here. There are a few final things we'll cover before we close this out. Currently, the crosshair will shift position to reflect obstructions to the weapon, as you see here. This is a nice way to determine if your muzzle is clear of any nearby obstructions before you fire, and if not, you can use stance adjust to correct it. It's pretty handy. Finally, grenade throwing has been changed. The current method is to use a single key to throw grenades, which you can do while moving without having to go through the cumbersome and often fatally long and clumsy animations from Arma 2. 
Keep in mind that this is just an alpha implementation, but it's already much friendlier to use than the Arma 2 grenades. I like it. I hope it's fleshed out further, but what's there now is pretty good. There's one other feature that was added at the last moment in the alpha, after I'd filmed this footage. I'd like to talk briefly about it now. In short, collimated optics are now simulated properly. You'll have noticed earlier in the video that the red dot optic on top of the hammer side, you could see the red dot even when you weren't looking through the optic. That's not how it works in reality, and they just fixed it. On the right is footage from the corrected site, on the left is a clip from earlier. It's a seemingly subtle change, but it's very significant when firing while moving or when in high fatigue states, basically anytime your sight's moving around a lot. The fixed optic allows you to see exactly where the muzzle's pointed, which is how the real sights work. It's a nice change. Anyhow, thought I'd point that out. That concludes this look at the Arma 3 Alpha's movement and shooting aspects. Expect to see this further refined as Arma 3 is developed towards completion. If you're interested in more Arma 3 tutorial material, feel free to subscribe to this channel as I intend to release more footage going forward. If you'd like to read in greater detail about the tactics, techniques, and procedures of the Arma series, you can find my Arma 2 based Tactics, Techniques, and Procedures 2 guide here. I'm currently developing a TTP 3 for Arma 3, which will be released closer to the final game's release date. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you know anyone who wasn't fond of Arma 2 or DayZ because of the controls, show them this. I think that argument against the Arma series will be put to rest with the final release of Arma 3, and the Alpha's already most of the way towards accomplishing that. Anyhow, until next time, take care.